steady. Proud of Hey everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Rich. Today, we're gonna talk about and ride. We're gonna go over a question that came up in several of our videos. And that question was, what gear do you ride in when you're doing slow maneuvers? Not in the sense of safety gear like a helmet, but what gear do you ride your bike in? First or second gear? Now, understand these answers that I'm going to give you because I truly believe everybody learns different. Everybody have a different way of learning. What I explain to you, you may not pick up. Or somebody else explain the same way. They may pick up on it and then all of a sudden the light comes on. So simply, the answer is the gear really doesn't matter. Now if you're in third, fourth, and fifth gear, then it does matter because obviously your bike going to start lugging. But first or second gear really doesn't matter Listen to this, depending on your bike, depending on your bike. Because we had a rider, it was just three of us out here in this lot that did not pick up on friction zone. And he told me I might get in the friction zone, brake and throttle thing. Because it's all about clutch control, throttle control and brake. Those three things will get you through it. Every single pattern, every single drill, every single time. So what do I ride in? What gear do I ride in? And I would suggest this 100% that you use the exact same gear, especially when you're really learning this for your new riders. And if you're really trying to dial it in, I would suggest riding in first gear, first gear only. Now, I do have some exception that you can go in second gear. But the reason I say first gear, because once you get that friction zone dialed in, you can really throttle the bike and it's not gonna go anywhere. You just got to maintain control, 100% control. Command, control equals confidence. Once, they, once you maintain 100% control by maneuvering in the friction zone, steady throttle, and use the rear brake, all three of these things control your speed. Brakes slightly on a rear brake. You don't really have to punch your way as bumping up and down. And then you can control that speed. And then the number one rule of motorcycling, especially, especially if you're doing U-turns, look where you want to go. You don't want to turn, start leaning and having your vision straight. And then all of a sudden you turn around and look behind you and something's there. So look first. But what we're going to do is, is do two particular rides, two different rides. One in first gear, one in second gear. Now, the exception to the rule of first gear is second gear, depending on your bike and I'm gonna tell you why here's a story I was talking about we were in this particular lot during a parking lot practice it was only three of us me and two other riders and one of the riders just could not get the friction zone but it threw me off because when we were doing the 24 foot u-turns he was making the u-turns of course I was at the opposite end while he was making the u-turns not a problem went through it so later on that day I set up the head and shoulders, which includes the keyhole. When he got to the keyhole, he was having major problems completing the keyhole. You guys have seen the keyhole. It's easy to set up, have a little difficulty doing it, but what he was doing is overthrowing, kept going out of the keyhole, out of the keyhole every single time. And he said, hey, I'm really not getting in the friction zone, which kind of threw me off because he was doing the 24 foot turns. I'm really not getting the friction zone, so I explained it again. And his next question was, hey, what gear are you riding in, first or second? And he was riding in first, which I always recommend. First gear, start off in first gear when you're learning this. However, when I got closer, because it's keyhole, I could get a little closer, he was releasing all the way out of the friction zone and trying to coast through. So I kept saying, don't coast, throttle, 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 more throttle, more throttle. And he was riding a gold wing also. So I got closer so I could hear and see his throttle. And when he was throttling up, he was all the way out of friction zone, which made him go out of side of the pattern. And obviously he was not using the rear brakes to his advantage. 
no matter what, he just couldn't get it. So I say, okay, go into second gear. Now here's why I say go into second gear. Depending on your bike, your bike not, may not have enough torque. If you release this friction dome to pull you out. But the key to all this is friction zone and brake and continuous power to the rear wheel. So that's the major exception I have to riding in first gear. If you have a high torque and you keep releasing, which you should not do, you should learn the friction zone. The way you learn the friction zone, check out a basic friction zone video that I have that gives up close. I will put it in here, up here, and I will put it at the end of this video. So let me get on the bike, gear up, and I'm gonna ride first gear. I'm just get over here to 24 foot turns, U turns, ride first gear and show you how you have a lot more control in first gear, but using the three things, friction zone, steady throttle, rear brake, and the fourth and final thing, I said three, but that's four, always 100 percent of the time look where you want to go look behind you now you'll see in second gear oh, actually i'll do a third ride i'll coast through it matter of fact i do the coast first to show that you should never coast through it okay so let me gear up and we're gonna get this thing going so what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna do a u-turn just coasting the bike i'm not gonna intentionally go wide just to show you how you can struggle with U-turns by not having 100% power. The second one I'm gonna ride in first gear, and the third I'm gonna ride in third gear. So let's get this going. Okay, go down here, do a U-turn here. Okay, now the first one I'm gonna do a U-turn and I'm gonna kill the clutch and try to coast through it. That's hard for me to do. Okay, I made the U-turn. Hold on, let me come back to the camera for you guys. Okay, as you can see, I coast through it, killed all the power by putting a clutch all the way in. I made the 24 foot U-turn, but I was a little nervous and leaning the bike. You don't have to lean the bike all the time. The more you turn the wheel, the less you will have to lean the bike. The more you turn those handlebars, the less you will have to lean the bike. But coasting through gave me a sense of no control. So I'm gonna do it again, except this time I'm gonna ride it in first gear. I'm staying in a friction zone, steady throttle, using rear brake, quick head turn, and I'm gonna get this. Now I'm gonna steal you to 24 feet. I'm not gonna to try to do it tight. This is basically the average road. Here we go. Coming down. Speed, steady throttle. Got my brake ready. Quick look. I'm in control. Completed the U-turn. That felt good a lot better than trying to coast through it. Okay. Let's go over the last and final one, second gear. Like I said, use second gear in extreme cases, but for the most part, I would never ever recommend using second gear. If you haven't got the friction down, zone down and you keep letting out of the friction zone, you just gotta practice that. You really, really need to practice clutch control. Okay, do the last one in second gear. Okay, coming down here. I'm in second gear. Still steady throttle. Feel like I'm in control. Look, do my U-turn. Look, do the U-turn, second gear. So honestly, the bottom line is first gear, but it really does not matter what gear you're in. In fact, I will do another run 
in first gear just with clutch control and I would rev the throttles up high and you will see I would not go any faster. Okay, I'm gonna just point the camera to my throttle hand. I got enough room to do this. And there's nobody in this parking lot. So let's see if I get the throttle, the camera pointed to my throttle hand. I wanna get it there without looking at it. I don't want to have to take my eyes off where it's supposed to be. It's forward. Okay. I'm in first gear, using my rear brake. When I go into the friction zone, I'm going to lift that left foot up immediately. Okay, hopefully it's catching in my hand. Okay, I'm in first gear. This is what I'm talking about, throttle control. Right now, I can go. The bike not going any faster. So when you got throttle control, it doesn't matter what gear you in. And then I can do my U-turn and steady throttle. So let's review. Once again, the question was, what motorcycle gear am I in? First or second gear when I'm doing slow skills? First gear, but the true answer, it really doesn't matter if you can do it in second gear, that's fine also, I wouldn't recommend it. Sometimes when we out here with our full course setup, if I'm riding a cone weave, if I came to it too quickly, I'll just stay in second gear. Then when I get the tight stuff, for more control, 100% control, then I go to first gear. Hope that answered your question. Hope you liked the video. If so, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you subscribe, ring the notification bell. That's all I have for right now. So if you like out riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. For Boosting Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace.